Want to make your React website look 10x cooler without writing a single line of animation code? Imagine this, animated bubbles, glowing particles or colorful triangles dancing behind your content just like a magic, right? But it's real and it's super easy. So in this video I am going to show you how to add this stunning animated backgrounds to your React app in just 2 minutes using a package called React Beats. Trust me, once you use this, your UI will never look boring again. No complex CSS, no messy setup, just plug play and impress your users instantly. Let's turn your plain background into something absolutely awesome. So this is Rohit and you are watching Webelite Builders. So let's start now. So now come here and create a folder. So I have already created a folder and gave it a name React Beats. So I need to just open it in a VS code. So I'm opening it and uh, just open your terminal here and you need to first install a react application. So I am just installing it npm create white at the rate latest. Okay. So this will ask me the project name. So I am just giving a dot here and uh, I'm just giving a package name react bg and I will choose react here and I will choose javascript now. So right now I have to uh, like in this in this project I will use Tailwind also so I will go to the browser and here I will search tailwindcss.com and click on get started so from here I will like copy this command to install the Tailwind so I will paste it here and I will just hit on enter and it will automatically install the Tailwind classes I mean Tailwind CSS in my project so I will come back here and I will go to the next step so here I need to like copy this import Tailwind CSS from Tailwind white and I need to paste it in the white config.ts okay so here I am using JavaScript so here it is white.config.js so I will come here and I will put this Tailwind here and I need to use this Tailwind as well so I will use it here so I will come back to the this page and here I need to import a CSS so I need to copy this and then I will go to the VS code again and in, inside the source folder and I will paste that command here in the index.css I will remove all the so I will remove all the default CSS from here and I will paste it here okay so I will go back and now what I need to do I need to simply run the command npm run dev okay so what I will do here I will first of all I will delete this app.css because I don't have any use of this so I will delete it move to recycle bin okay and I will go to the app.jsx so here I will remove all the things and I will do here ifc okay and I will check whether my tailwind is properly installed or not okay so i will write here hello world and i will uh, give some classes of tailwind to check whether it is uh, properly installed or not so i will give class name uh, text read 600 and i will uh, make it uh, larger so text 7xl okay now I'll come to the terminal and i will run a command npm run dev to start the react application okay so now i will go to the localhost 5.73 so here it is so my tailwind is working properly okay you can see here right so come to the vs code and now i will create a animated background here so for animation we are going to use react bits so come here in the browser and search for react beats react beats okay and i will click on grid motion here you can see there are lots of awesome backgrounds dark weld and click on silk you can see there are lots of awesome backgrounds right so you can use any one of them but i will use these particles okay because i like that particles animation okay and you can use any one of them because the process is same okay so 
click on code option and here you will see all the code by just doing copy paste you can use this animation okay you don't need to write lots of animation css so that is pretty easy okay so first command is npm ogl so i will copy it and i will go to my terminal and open a new terminal okay and i will paste it here and click on enter okay so this will install the ogl okay and i will come back here and here you can see i need to use this but before that i have to create a component name particle.jsx okay so i will simply copy this and i will go back to the vs code and here inside src folder i will create a new component called particles.jsx okay and i will paste the code here okay so here you can see like i pasted the whole code here in the particles.jsx right so i will go back and here you can see the next command that is i need to paste this css so i will copy it and go back to the vs code and inside index.css i will paste it here okay so go back and now the next thing what i need to do here i have to use this particles as well right so i will copy this div and i will go back to the app.jsx and i will paste it here so before pasting it uh, what i will do i will create a empty fragment and inside this i will paste this div okay and i will uh, take this div inside this fragment so let me uh, so let me uh, format the document now it's good okay so i have to install this i have to sorry i have to import these particles inside the app.jsx so i will uh, import it from here and now i will go back and check uh, is there any changes in my react app so here it is not uh, unable to find like particles.css because i have not make a particular file for css right i just paste it in the index.css so that's why it is happening so where it is happening in the particles.css file okay so i will come here and go to the particles.css so i will uh, like comment it out because i have no use of this so go back so here you can see i am getting uh, lots of particles here but my background is white okay so i will make it black so come here and in the app.jsx and i will make it black okay so bg black i will choose and come here and check okay so it is showing like this okay uh, go back and i will make it a div and i will give it a class name and give it a class name of width full and the height will be screen and uh, make it relative and i will uh, make the background black here and uh, flex justify center and items will be center okay now i will go and i will check there okay so here it is now there is a black screen okay and you can see the particles as well but my text is outside the screen okay so let me check what has happened here so first of all i don't need uh, this bg black now and i don't need uh, those classes as well so i will remove it okay and now first of all i will uh, make it absolute and uh, give it a flex flex call uh, justify will be center and items will be center as well and here i will use h1 tag to write heading here so i will write here subscribe to web light builders okay so if you haven't subscribed yet so just subscribe the channel and and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my videos 
okay now i will go back and check okay now i can't see my text here okay i think uh, come back here and i will first of all give class name to this heading so i will make it white text white and font will be bold and text will be 6 xl okay and margin bottom will be 10 okay now go back and let's see okay so i can see my text here now but the text is very small i think uh, oh that's why i have to give a space here okay it is okay now right so now i will add a button beside the text so here i will add a button and give it a name subscribe and inside button i will write subscribe okay so i will give it a class name class name uh, bg will be red 500 hover if you hover that button then the background will be bg red 400 and i will make it cursor pointer and text will be white padding x will be 4 and padding y will be 2 okay and i will make it rounded lg okay and go to the view and i will do word wrap so that it will not go outside of the box okay so here you can see subscribe to baby light builders and the button subscribe okay so that's it guys if you found this tutorial helpful do me a quick favor hit that like button smash subscribe if you haven't already and drop a comment below if you want more ui enhancement tricks like this and tell me which animation did you like the most let me know in the comments okay so thanks for watching see you in the next video